So in this video, we're gonna be showing you all sorts of driving gloves, but I thought it would be cool to start off with some racing gloves so you could see the difference and learn a little bit about gloves. Now this is a real racing glove, which would be different from your driving glove that you would use for spirited driving. This glove is specifically made for racing. And one of the things that really makes these gloves stand out is that they're usually fireproof and they also have a certification stamp on it by this organizing body called SFI. And usually these materials include Nomex and other things. But one thing about racing, real racing gloves, is that they're actually really um, thick, uh, you know, compared to a driving glove, and also they are really warm and hot. But the cool thing about it is there is a little bit of uh, flexibility, which is nice. So this is, would be a great glove if you're racing, and it gives you that grip that you need while you're racing, because I know back in the days when I used to do some club racing, my hands got sweaty. It's just, I don't know if I was just getting excited or whatever, it's just normal, but these gloves are for racing. So let's go ahead and dive into our video and look at some driving gloves. All right, so this driving glove looks cool. I mean, the stitching looks neat and everything and the coloring, but when I put it on, I was like, oh no, because it feels thick. It just, it just feels like it's a lot. And for a driving glove, you know, I want something lightweight, you know, something that gives me the grip, but I don't, you know, continuously know that it's on my hand. And uh, that's one thing. But another thing that definitely was a showstopper was this button right here. Uh, this button is just, it clips on and it's really tight in my hand. And uh, most of the other gloves, they have Velcro right here. So that's just another point that this glove wouldn't work out. Nice design overall, uh, but just a little too much. Um, and uh, so this isn't gonna be the glove for me. All right, the first thing I think about when I wear gloves is like a mullet an old school Z28 and burnouts. I don't know why, <laughs> but all right. So these gloves are by this company and automatically when I picked them up, I was like, oh, they're gonna be cheap because they're light. But when I put them on, I think that was actually a good thing because you know, they're they're light. They don't, they don't feel heavy and, or, or like thick, super too thick. Um, and then I was like, what material is this? Cause it's just kind of like a little, it feels a little, cheap just to be honest with you i was like this isn't leather but then it's sheepskin i don't know anything about sheepskin um but i could just tell that it might wrinkle quickly because i've only worn these two times and i feel like they're gonna wrinkle quickly but besides that they're comfortable and they actually feel pretty good the main thing about a glove for me is like i don't want to know i'm wearing a glove like I mean, I slightly do, but I don't want it to be like, oh, clamping on my hand or just feels weird or odd. And this one accomplishes it. And another thing too, it's adjustable. It has like Velcro here. And that's pretty cool because the, the other ones I've tried on, they're just, they're like a snap on button and you can't adjust that. And honestly, one of them is too tight. So I like that. Now the knuckle cutout isn't precisely on there, but I mean, I feel like every human hand is different. Um, so I'm not going to really knock them for that. I can make a fist so it doesn't like interfere with it. Um, but overall, I think this is a good glove. I need to find out how much these things are because if they're not that expensive and they last you a year, I think they would accomplish the mission. I mean, even for shifting, uh, for driving, I just think they're really good. Okay, so I went on Amazon and I picked the highest rated mountain biking slash biking glove. And I want to do that to test it out because there's a lot of similarities, as you could tell, fingerless. And then it has this adjustable Velcro for the hand, which I like. So, so far we're good to go. But right away I noticed something in that there's a lot of padding on the palm of the hand. And that makes sense because mountain bikers are shifting their weight from back and forth and they put a lot of weight and a lot of stress on their hands. And that makes sense why the padding's there. But when it comes to driving in the steering wheel, you feel disconnected. The padding kind of disconnects you from the steering wheel. And for me, driving is all about feeling and so that wouldn't work out. So cool gloves, but definitely not for driving. So a driving glove video cannot leave out fingered driving gloves. Now this is by the same company as the one that's all flamboyant with like the orange and black one. So let's give it a shot. Well, first off, the biggest difference is that your fingers are covered. <laughs> but besides that, uh, goes back to the same issue that the other gloves have Velcro and this is just a one size and it's a little tight. 
not as tight as the other fingerless ones, but it's still tight. And I wish I, I could adjust that. So that's one thing that I don't really like. Uh, but besides that, I mean, they, they are flexible. I do like that. And I think uh, the cutout for the knuckles adds that flexibility, if I'm correct. I don't know if that's just supposed to make you look like somebody from like that, that musical West Side Story or whatever. But I mean, really, it's, uh, it's not a bad glove. It's just this is not adjustable, which is not good. And, uh, and yeah, besides that, that's all I have to say about these. So when I ordered these gloves, they said driving gloves, but I really think that these are just nice, fancy gloves. They're really good looking gloves and they feel great because inside they have a cashmere liner and they're actually really good gloves. I just might keep these for everyday life. But for driving, I don't think they're driving gloves. And the reason why is because that inside liner and just the way that it's designed, when I try to make a fist, it fights me. So for any type of spirited driving or any type of sports car driving, I just really don't think the gloves are intended to be used like that. It just doesn't feel good. And the extra padding also kind of disconnects you from the steering wheel. But besides Besides that, great normal gloves, but for driving, that's not what they're, these are for. So the winner is going to be these sheepskin gloves, the thin ones. It's by a Kamimoto store. I, I think I said that right. But anyways, for about 20 bucks on sale or whatever, this is a pretty good deal. I mean, if it lasts me a year, I mean, that that's going to be awesome. But yep, these are pretty good gloves and uh, this was fun. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video and we'll see you soon. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and we'll talk to you later.